Hey guys, look what I got. That's right, I got the Estes Code Red ready to fly rocket. And it is larger than my other two that I just reviewed. And its max altitude is 725 feet. In fact, let's get into the specs right here. No sense in wasting time. So if we use the same rocket that we used for the maidens of both the Rascal and the Hijinks, which went up roughly 500 feet, it, it's rated at, or both of those are rated at 550 feet with that engine. And I don't think it got that high with either of them, but they got relatively close. Uh, with this motor, which will shoot both of those other ones up to 1,100 feet, It'll shoot this one up about 725 feet, and that is due to this being longer and almost twice as heavy. And without further ado, let's unbox this little beast and see what it looks like. As you can see, this thing comes neatly packaged. Comes with everything you need including your parachute that you add onto this huge nose cone that shine, uh, on a sunny day uh, should make it really easy to spot in the sky before deployment and that should make my videos with this pretty cool it's got nice big fins and it does not have one of those little hooks like my other ones and I'm guessing that screws on and off but we'll find that out here shortly in fact, let's find that out right now. So here is the code red. Here's its nose cone. And as you can see, the rubber band, tether, or whatever you want to call it, that connects to the nose cone. You double knot that, and then you put the parachute on there. And it's that simple. It really is that simple. I'm still pretty much a rookie with model rockets but it's straightforward and simple even for me and I'm not sure how good this looks through the camera but this is absolutely stunning in person this red here with the the gray silver whatever you want to call the color little scratches here little scratches there not a ginormous issue uh, especially when it's going to be shooting off and you'd be watching it from a distance going off the launch pad and to answer the question that I had yes confirmation right here this thing unscrews put your motor in there put the wadding in there very important in my last video you'll notice that I burnt through a parachute even though I had wadding was not enough so lesson learned there so I'm gonna probably go at least 50% more than the recommended on future launches because wadding is cheap and parachutes, while well, relatively inexpensive, are a lot more expensive compared to the wadding. So, Alright, so next I'm going to put the parachute onto the nose cone over there and tie this onto the nose cone as well. Step one is complete. I just did a basic double knot under almost any circumstance that should be plenty fine especially if I have the wadding so this doesn't get hot and then get burnt up next is the parachute alright so this is a little bit of a stinker this parachute that came with this only has three uh, or two of the three strings required for this to work there are there's not a string here to make the parachute. Fortunately, with my order, I ordered a backup parachute. So that is what I'm going to use to configure this. But Tower Hobbies is going to hear from me on this because that is just not right. Okay, so my backup parachute was just fine. And that is what I'm going to use to attach to the nose cone. Okay, so we are set and ready to go. This is not inside out like I did for the hijinks. So, what's coming up next 
is this bad boy launching? After a quick preview of what it looks like with the nose cone on. So this is what it looks like. Coming up next, you're going to see it take off. Five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. That was awesome, dude. Code red. Didn't go very high either. That was perfect. No, that's what this was. The B46 motor in this for the maiden, like they recommend. Hope you guys enjoyed watching, and look for more rocket videos like this coming soon. I ordered a bunch, so hopefully you guys like them. If not, just look for the next RC video after. Peace out. Bye.